And the number 17 starting on the pole, that's Tyler Blankenship. Trent Rickle in the 22 starts outside. Jet Yantis in the number one machine is in the middle of a three wide. Then we got the number 76 that is piloted by Stryker Connolly and rounding out the field, Mason Connolly, Conway. And the number 72, heat race number one for the senior mini dwarfs. And out to the early lead is the number 17 of Blankenship. He's under pressure though, getting under pressure from the zero one or from the one machine of Jet Yantis. And then battle for third, getting a little rubbing and racing. Connolly. And the number 76 trying to get that 22 machine. Goes to the inside. And Rickle will move a spot back, not the direction he wanted to go. And he started on the outside of the front row. So your leader from the start looks to be the one to get the checkered flag first. It'll be the number 17. Wait, I, jinx I jinxed him. I spoke too soon. Blankenship spins it out. He will go back to third as Jet Yantis takes a win on the last lap. So a bobble will cost you, but especially if you do it on the last lap. Heat race number two coming up. Blankenship will go back to third. 76 of Conley, striker Conley, will finish in the second spot. So that'll be your top three in heat number one. We're back to green here for the senior mini dwarfs. Heat race number two. Heat, heat race number two for the senior mini dwarfs. Ratcliffe out to the early lead over Brody Graham in the 25 machine. Battle for the lead up front. Bumper tag, Graham gets by, but Ratcliffe wants it back. Side by side for lap number two. And into the corner, pushing and shoving, and Graham will spin it out as we go yellow. I thought we were gonna stay green there for a second, but Graham got it stuck on the infield berm. So we're getting pretty racy here. And heat number one, this is opening night for this class. So you know these kids wanna get out to an early points lead. As they got a long summer season ahead of them. And this one is is the number 25 of Rotogram. You saw spin it out there. Mason Radcliffe still holding on into the lead. Madison Myers in the number 86. She's over in the pit area. It looks like that's a DNF in heat number one. Or heat number two, I should say. And Mallory Myers in the 86M running at your field. We got a mystery driver number 5M. Something tells me that'd be a Miller. But we don't have the driver name on the sheet. As we get ready to go back racing. It'll be Logan Miller, so I figured that 5M machine had the same numbers as Papa Jeff Miller. See Miller and Myers duking it out for third. Brody Graham gonna get the yellow as well as everybody else. Not sure why we got a yellow, but we do. Oh, we got a gas cap. A loose gas cap is what the official just picked up. So somebody screwed up and could it be Mallory? All right, they found the uh, corporate, the the corporate, the 86M, of Mallory Myers. Looks like that's what it is. On that thing. Don't touch the hot part of it. It's probably better said than going here. Yeah, especially with these. These are Honda 6.5 GX 
1500 to GX160 to 5.5. Trying to get that gas cap back on the 86M machine. Got to do a little work on clean them up, take off the governor. Some of them have fuel pump just because of the, the roughness of these parts that they do not have rear suspension in them. And the 86 gets pushed away, but going to get pushed up off the track out of turn number one. So we're down to three now. We got Miller in third. We know what our top three is going to be now. Graham in the second spot and in the lead halfway through this heat race. This is Mason Ratcliffe. Yeah, he's, he's got both daughters in the deal, and uh, one's already uh, got problems, and now the, the youngest one's got problems. So, hope they get this. After this one, we'll go into heat for our junior mini dwarfs. The real young guns here at Bakersfield Speedway. And then also here tonight, we've got scheduled the mod minis. They're going to be out here at the debut division for 2018. They got some exhibition races. But this time around, starting tonight, they'll go for points for a championship. And we got a battle for the lead on the restart. It'll be Graham going into the lead. Second spot now is Ratcliffe. Top three on the screen, the top three that remain on the racetrack from the starting lineup in this heat number two. White flag waves for Brody Graham. Hopefully he doesn't do what the winner or the leader did in the last heat race. Does not, comes out of turn number four, checkered flag for Brody Graham. And then number 25, you know the rest of the top three, but I'll tell you it anyways. Ratcliffe second, third spot is Miller Jr. Mini Dwarf is getting ready to come to the track. We found Miller outside row number one, the 84 from Bakersfield. Tiger Tank, Science Factory, 3G Rebar of Wyatt Webb. Inside row number two, the 09, that's Branson Spears from Santa Maria with the Simpson Safety Gear, Five Star Graphics, Mom, Drain Busters, and Adam Miller Racing. Outside of row number two is going to be Landon King from Santa Maria. Row number three is going to be Seth Hansen from Bakersfield with the 5150 life. And running out the field, the six of Chloe Cotton from Bakersfield, sponsored by BKE. Adam Lowe with the 12 in, out to a good lead. Wyatt Webb in the 84, right with him. Battling out, they figure they'll check out from this group and settle it between the two of them. Adam Lowe keeping it smooth for one and two, not giving any room for Wyatt to make a move. Stretch out there, group to about half a track with heat over everybody else. I tell you, Mike, right now that that the 84 of Wyatt Webb closing in on that 12 of Adam Knoll. Yeah, he's looking for Adam Knoll to make a, a mistake, but white flags out. He's got one turn to go. It's going to be the 12 in of Adam Knoll from Santa Maria taking the win. when he rolls up the check. He's such a cool little man. Oh, uh, Adam? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's great. He'll give everybody high fives. Yeah. It's fun when he's done racing. Doesn't matter if you ran into him or hit him or he flipped or whatever. He gets out of the car like it's the greatest thing in the world. And he'll give everybody high fives. He'll start playing in the mud with him, playing tag. It's, he's a kid once he gets out of the car. Exactly. Go green. Heat number two for the junior minis. Martin out into the lead, second spot. Not really, oh, never mind. Big time issue out of turn number two. I heard that 18 machine rev up high. One of the chain came undone. It's looking like some under power there. You know, the GX160 and GX200 
chain powered with a triple clutch. See there, yeah. crew chief hard at work there. So the, the bouncing and the roughness of the turn can pop the chain off or just the torque of some of these guys. Pull and, and, and like you said, if the, the possibly the chain has come undone. They're looking to try to get it back on the spoke there. And hey, look at that. Back to running. Though not restarting in the spot that they'd want to be in. So Bryce and Martin got the lead. Lost the lead. But there's still five laps to go. Plenty of time to get back up through the field. Second spot just inherited the lead. That'll be the 25cc of Carson Conway. Yeah, some of these guys, they don't want it too tight because of the torque and the bounce and they want to get a little bit of nip to it. It might have flexed at the wrong time, cause that chain to pop off. Looks like we're going to go green next time by. But if you want to see one of these up first and first of all, we've got these tonight after the race. We've got one of these drivers that are still around, and their parents, let's tell you all about these cars. These are great starters. So we've got all five still on the track. No one's left. Yeah, I'll tell you my and we go back to green. So Carson Conway brings the field back to racing. Ethan Johnson in the second spot. And a battle for third. We got three of them stacked up and ready to get to it here. Conway up to the third spot now. He's definitely on the move. Closing in on the second spot of Johnson. Still reeling in, still reeling in. Now looking low. Peeking, making the move. Hopefully they don't chop down. Makes the pass. As we've got ourselves two laps to go. Can Carson Conway make it happen here? Coming from the back, going to the front. Looking low for the lead. White flag waves. And I apologize. I'm talking the Bryson Martin machine. Bryson looking down low. Side by side out of turn number four. It's a drag race. And a photo finish into the curb. But it will be the 25 of Carson Conway taking the win by a bumper. Now doing a 50-50 grind into the back bumper. That race for the finish. All you have to do is go on YouTube after you're done watching this video and type in NASCAR closest finish at Darlington. That's a that was a that was a quarter scale replica of Ricky Craven and Kurt Busch. More heats coming up in just a bit. Now we're getting ready to go heat number one. IMCA Sport Mods. We go. heats in this division. Michael Johnson out to the early lead in this one. Here comes Matt Mayo Jr. though. Up into the lead. Johnson slips back to the second spot. Gary Dutton in the third spot. Johnson throws it down low. Looking for the lead out of turn number four and does just that. Michael Johnson back here at the Bakersfield Speedway. Always a heavy contender, always bringing a lot of heat and a lot of competition. Always fun to see that 22C machine racing out here. But he is bobble out of turn number two. Gary Dutton, the big lick, goes into the lead. We got a competitive heat race here. Matt Mayo Jr. fighting for that second spot. McKellar in the 18C machine going black this year. Last year is all white, and you could easily spot that 18C machine. Looks like in 2018. Wants to go midnight black and do a sneak attack on the field. Going stealth mode for that 18C. 
Corey Dutton in the lead with two laps to go. We're on lap number six of eight, but look at the run Johnson has on the outside. So Michael Johnson making the move up high. As the white flag waves, one more lap to go. Can that 22C machine get the job done on the outside? No, he crosses to the inside now. Gary Dutton in the lead. He's going to hold it out of turn number four. Second spot goes to Michael Johnson. Third, Mayo. Fourth, McKellar. And fifth. 13 in, make sure you put your back filler panel on. 13 in, make sure you put your back filler panel on. It's a 20 S machine of Kevin Johnson. We're used to seeing Lee Jensen pilot a 20 S machine, but that was last year. We're now go ahead and enter the track. we're racing this year. So coming out right. now is heat number two. We got the 3M of Jeff Miller. Cross up, guys. Cross up. Scheduled to start on the pole, but not looking like it. We'll see here. Hang on there. There we go. Now we're now we're mixing it up properly. So we got the 3M of Jeff Miller. We saw the youngster out here in the Mini Dwarves not too long ago. Now we got the number 15 AR of Jack Agar Aguar. Then we got the number 32 of Tina Pounds. Then we got the 21 on the outside. That is Kyle Wood. Row number three has the number 74 of Wild Wayne Dotson and the number 4X of Kate Cochran. Number two for the sport mods, we go green. No, we don't. False start. No green, no green, no green. Joe's out, cross up, cross up. So we're gonna try that one again here. I think, I think. I don't have to think anymore. I was just going to say, I think that they had the 3M. Lights are out, going green, this time by. Not so much jump it, it's just at the car to the outside. The Vaguar did not roll with the 3M as we try it again. So, complete restart, heat two of four for the IMC Sport Mod. Some contact there. Pounds gets into the 21 of Wood. Wood keeps it going. Oh, trouble. The 15 bounces off the wall and then Pounds gets involved. And a battle up front. Here comes Wild Wayne Dodson from the back row and looking for the lead to the inside of Jeff Miller. up high in the 3M machine. Dotson down low in the 74. We go yellow. Yellow out for the 21 of Woods. Spun it around right in the center of the corner. Lap number two of eight. You see some damage out of pounds. Everybody get through the 21 and we'll be good. Everybody in front of the 21 and we'll be good. So we're two laps in to this eight lap heat number two for the IMCA Sport Mods. And I know a lot of you are joining with us here on www.lowbudget.tv. 
For those of you that are just kind of scrolling through Facebook and you appear to see some racing, we are live right now happening from the Bakersfield Speedway. And if you want to join us for the full night of racing, we're just sneak giving you a sneak peek. If you want to join us for the full night, www.lowbudget.tv is a place to be. From Bakersfield Speedway, I am CA Sport Mods, I am CA Stock Cars, Hobby Stocks, Mini Mods, and Mini Dwarfs. And Jeff Miller in the lead. So what else could you ask for? Dotson, that's Wayne Dotson in the second spot. Father of Ethan Dotson. I know a lot of you in the Midwest have seen Ethan Dotson racing. Well, here goes Pops down low for the lead. Wild Wayne Dotson trying to battle with that 3M of Miller up front. Miller holding off. Side by side out of turn number four. This track looking fast and definitely racy. There'll be two to go at this tribe and we're still duking it out for the lead. Sport mods. Dotson with the advantage down into turn number one. Miller with that outside run but cannot get anything brewing out of turn number two. So he's going to go down low, hang it out. Now the white flag waves for Dotson. Dotson from the back row to the lead. Took him some time, but he was busy in the, the whole race. Checkered flag for Wayne Dotson. Second spot will go to Miller. Third to Tina Pounds. And we still got two more heats for these sport mods. Twenty-two. We've got a full field of IMCA Sport Mods here tonight. Twenty-two of them to get their 2018 racing season started. And if you're somehow just around the corner from Bakersfield Speedway and you're not here yet, you gotta get your way out of here, folks. Beautiful weather, I'm in shorts and I'm in a t-shirt and I'm feeling comfy. I think all I gotta do is throw in this light jacket and I'll be good to go for the entire night. Back to the track promoter, he said the beer is cold and ready for you, so. IMCA Sport Mod Heat number three on the racetrack here. And if you're kind of just checking out this Facebook Live looking, join us. You got all night of racing. I know some of you might be a little cold and, or maybe even snowed in or it could be raining. Well, you, it doesn't mean you can't go to the night at the races. You can join us here at lowbudget.tv. We got three different viewing qualities for you. High definition, standard, and right in the middle. High quality. So come on and join us here from Bakersfield. Gonna be a fun night of racing. Like I said, a full field of Sport Mods, 22 of them on the third mile. It'll get busy here tonight. Garrett Jernigan starts on the pole. Jason Nation to his outside. Heat number three, we go racing. Ren Jr. in the 87W out of the Hobby Stocks and into the Sport Mods. Battle up front for the lead. The 3AC of Austin Kiefer. And the black and green 04 of Austin Manzella. That's your field. And we've got two separate packs of racing. Three wide down into turn number three. in the second spot now and we're still duking it out and some contact into turn number three here at Bakersfield. Lloyd Wren Jr. to the inside now in the middle. This track is racy folks. We're in for a good night. Austin Keeper hugging that low side in the three AC machine. I think all three of these cars in this heat race and we're only four laps in of eight we're halfway through this one and all three of them have been in the third spot at one point your top two starting to grow apart 
It's gonna be a. I love when we get to see new drivers like Lord Wren and that 87 Debbie machine graduating from the hobby stocks. Got himself some good finishes in that class and stepping it on up into the sport mods. Dale Skogman Sr. on Facebook Live there. I love his question. When aren't we in shorts? Well, of course. That's a fun part about being in Southern California. I'm not bragging. I'm not bragging. I don't want to sound like I'm bragging. But don't think for a second that I'd rather be in the Northeast or the Midwest right now. Or the Northwest, even. I'm happy right here where I'm at in Bakersfield. Now, this is not technically opening night. Opening night technically was about a month ago. But for two weekends in a row at the beginning of March, it's been rained out. So we start our season later than expected here in Bakersfield for the sport mods as we get ready to go green for heat number four. It'll be the 12 of James Cecil on the inside battling for the lead with a 40 of Nick Spain Howard, who takes the spot out of turn number two. Kale Kanky, look out, stack up. Now I'm not gonna say what is good and what is not. I can tell you that Hipton in the 48K machine not good but Cecil did get hit in the driver's door and no that's not comfortable but if you're gonna take a pick between where you're gonna get hit when you turn sideways in front of the field you'd want it to hit where there's no suspension attached to it now you can see Hibden in a heap of trouble in this heat race The crew's got a lot of work to do between now and the main event on the right front suspension. And the 51 machine, Von Vondera, from the Central Coast here, racing it in Bakersfield. We go green. Kanky in the second spot, looking low on Spain Howard. Von slipping up. Looks like Cecil's taking a peek down low, but no can do out of turn number two. Second generation racer. Cecil up into the third spot now, going to the outside of the 51 of Vaughn. We're battling. We're taking it for that third spot. Yes, now Cecil makes a bobble on the outside, so it looks like turns right in the center of one and two. If you get up in the fluff, actually it's more of like a slick spot somewhere up there that these drivers are gonna have to work through. That right front will take off on you. As you can see, much better run through one or two. And now battle for the third spot continues. Bondera and Cecil duking it off for third. Now folks, this is gonna be the last heat race we're gonna show you on Facebook if you wanna see the rest of the night action www.lowbudget.tv and you, you might want to tune in 
to this night because Sport Mods, opening night for these drivers, and tempers. It all adds up here in Bakersfield. That's for sure. So that's the second incident that the 12 machine has been involved in. Some good racing for that third spot. It resulted in a boo-boo. Hard race in action here at Bakersfield. Always come to expect that. On the third mile clay oval, 73rd racing season here at this very track. Now, 73 years ago, this track was not a third mile clay oval. This track's changed up, I believe, three times. Started as a dirt track, then they paved it. At some point, stayed a quarter mile. In fact, the pit area, parts of it was behind the back straightaway billboards. Then they extended this track out to a third mile and then put the clay over it. And here we have 73 racing seasons out here at the West Coast fastest third mile clay oval. In the racing capital of California, that's Bakersfield. That's Cecil. Yeah, he might have been involved in that last yellow, but making it no stranger that he's got that 12 machine dialed up here tonight. White flag waves for Spain Howard. Got him for the second spot. Cecil looking low. Kanky with the run on the outside. Cecil for now as they come through turn number three and four. Spain Howard in the number 40 gets the checkered flag as Fondera is going to take his time to finish the race here after he slips up out of turn number four. Kinky second, third spot Cecil. And that's it for our Facebook Live look in www.lowbudget.tv is the website to go to and come hang out with us for the rest of the night here at Bakersfield Speedway. Three different qualities, standard, high definition, and high quality. All for your viewing pleasure. We also got it on Roku. There's instructions on how to do so at the top of the website. I know some of you don't like to plug in your laptop to the TV and do all that cabling thing, so that's why we hooked you up on Roku. So we got Roku available. We've got it all, www.lowbudget.tv, and we'll see you for the rest of the night's racing live on that website. Pro Stocks coming up next. All right, this game's rolling to the track now for heat rate number one. Up here. Sorry, Rich. Shout out to Kalinga, California, the 50th, Chris Smith. And alongside him, the number 87, the Mark Restaurant and Hammer Down ATVs is Chris Clinton. Row number three, we pick up the five in out of Santa Maria, California, it's Frank Nybeck. And alongside him, out of Marine Valley, California, in the 20J, which is on the track, is James Doolin. Looks like he will not make that call for this heat race. Yeah, James Doolin from Moreno Valley, California, was having some issues with drive shaft, dropping that off during hot laps, hopefully they get that fixed. Yeah. That's, a, that's a tough one if it's a U-joint or the spleen itself breaking, that could be a problem. RPMs up on the high side, Smith on the low side. Around goes the 87 of Chris Clinton. He's able to keep it going, so we're still green flag racing. The battle right now is for the lead with Blazing Brady Bell on the high side. Chris Smith on the bottom. We've got a new one to the point. The 50 from Kalinga, Chris Smith. Yeah, Bill's got a little bit of pressure now as you pick up that 11. That 11 M of Clay Daly. Got Chris Smith out front. Here comes Daly on the bottom. 
to two, runs up that right rear, tries to get up. Smith gets one heck of a run on that bottom side.
see TM3 down there with his flags. He's not just down there messing around with the flags. He's actually scouting these guys because some of these guys run in the modified, and he's got them modified this year. As soon as he gets the motor put back into it. Yeah, we know. You went kaboom. It happens, though. All right, heat race number three. Coming out onto the track for the CND Contractors and Developers Bonding Western Pro Stocks. Inside row number one from Oceana, California, King Concrete Construction, Package Construction, Sierra Body Shop, Crockett's Auto Body, Sierra Pacific Materials, Central Coast Tire, and Monarch, Monarch Mega Storage, the 43K, Devin, Devin, excuse me, David King Jr. And on the outside, the 11X, the Mariquin sponsored machine from Santa Maria, Tim Randolph. Then we pick up roll number two on the inside, the Gills Transmissions, b &L Tire, Greenway Pest Control, Brian Hicks Real Estate, GCI Equipment Rentals and Incognito Designs and Higher Ground Fitness. It's Hollywood, Tina Bale driving the number 29 alongside her the four of none other than Mr. Jerry Stewart. Rounding out the field from Kalinga, California, Skinny's Automotive, the Bruce of Ryan Smith. to make up heat race. Heat race number three of the C&D Construction and Development Bonding Pro Stocks. And it is Dan Randolph battling for the lead. Boy, here comes that board. Jerry Stewart already up to third. As he battles with Dave King Jr. and the 11 eggs of Kim Randolph. Kim Randolph in the middle of the racing machine. Up to the high side. That was 
shot him. He's taking the white flag. I'm really digging Dave's new paint scheme this year. I, I like it. Well, the black with the neon reddish orange. Off the 43, real good. And we're going to see Dave King win. Bobby Stocks on the racetrack for their first of four heats and a nice field for these drivers. As the green flag comes out. And trouble. You know, I know that was not intended. <laughs> yellow's out, yellow's out. That, that was definitely not intended as planned, but damn, that looked pretty good in my view. I mean, that was more of a stunt move than a race start. Oh, and meet again around in turn number two. So if that's a brand new car with a brand new motor, then he's got brand new problems because those rear wheels are spinning fast and he can control it. As far as car, car count in this class, We've got 25 hobby stocks. I have not heard of a B main, so that tells me that of a possible full field of 22, we're going to run all 25. So, man, oh man, are these heat races ever important. Michael Scruggs, you heard the starting lineup before I piped in, but he is on the point, and he gets the one to go. Nicholas Johnson in the one-end machine. Don Mead in second. Second row inside. Then we got the 21 RRR taking place for the 46 of Brian Childress. That's Roger Welch. Brian Terry and running out the field, the five of Raymond Nolan Jr. So that is your field. Um, with a 17 of Brian Terry starting in the back. Oh, trouble, trouble, trouble. Come on, guys. Let's get it together. <laughs> oh, my Fuck it, I told you. I told you hobby stocks are definitely one of the most exciting classes out here at Bakersfield. Nicholas Johnson getting moved up the track with help from Don Mead, who's now moving the wall out of turn number four. Roger Welch doing a good job of avoiding. Well, or, uh, Don Mead in the 99 getting the stick waved that means we're keeping an eye on you he's going to pull it right off the track and into the pit so something not handling as 17T goes around for that yellow 99 machine lap 2 and Michael Scruggs fast out here all the time in that 91 fast anywhere he goes how about that We've seen him win at more than just here at Bakersfield Speedway in this car. Or in these cars, I should say. Michael Scruggs continuing that tradition of running up front. But he's got a challenger. Here comes Nicholas Johnson in the one-end machine. Graduate from the American Stocks. He's got a faster car. see another Trevor Baker scenario graduate from the American stocks which are full steel cars just as they were intended to be stock class he became the champion of 2017 here in the hobby stocks from the American stocks Nicholas Johnson trying to continue that streak He's all over the back bumper of Michael Struggs in the 91X and Raymond Nolan Jr. in the blue five machine. That five is alive right now. In the third spot, looking for second. Johnson down low, Scruggs holding true to his high side run this whole race. As Nolan taking a peek down low for the second spot. Johnson tries once more into carry number three and four. Not gonna happen. Michael Scrugg is on the 91X. Comes to the checkered flag. Heat number one for the hobby stock. So a full field lined up for 
for tonight in Homestock competition for the main event later on. Wayne Dotson going to bring the field to the green. should have been in the last heat race not last meaning the first one I mean the last heat race meaning we're on heat two of four he should have been in heat number four he snuck into this heat race the 5x machine that went around at a turn number two that is Mike Lewis battle here for third Trevor Baker oh I'm sorry this is the five of Mike Lewis so he's battling with the 10 of Trevor Baker and the 29 of A battle up front for the lead. Now the 52 is normally driven by Perry Alderman, but something tells me I just looked down at the fire suit and it looked like Jerry Flippo's fire suit. So I don't know what's going on here, but we have a hell of a battle up front. I do see Jerry Flippo's fire suit, and he's got a very unique fire suit. If he takes a main event win tonight, you'll understand why. machine and Dotson gonna slip back to second not too easily though oh and into the wall is that 52 Yellow's out. Yellow's out. I believe Yellow's out. Yellow's out. Of, I'm going to keep saying and we'll find out when the driver gets out, Yellow's out. I believe this driver is Jerry Flippa. If the driver jumps out of this car and he's got an overall looking fire suit, driver with overalls, then that's who would be the driver. Look like something mechanical that broke going into turn number one. That car was in the lead. He drove his way to the lead, not like he had to fight any issues, and then all of a sudden did not want to turn into turn number one. In fact, the 52X machine is nowhere to be found on the driver's sheets that I have. So I think Jerry Flippo just showed up. I think he just uh, decided to go to the Perry Alderman pit area and steal his backup car and put an X on the door. So Jerry Flippo into the wall, turn number one. Hopefully they can get that car put back together and have to go racing here tonight. Wayne Dodson inherits the lead from that. I guess he picked the right lane, which was going low into turn number one during that. Second spot right now is a 10 of Trevor Baker, last year's champion. Third spot, the number 5X of Mike Lewis, driver that we've seen racing in dwarf cars out of Ventura Raceway. Fourth is the number 29. That is driver Lloyd Wren. Or, I'm sorry, Jeffrey Lloyd. I knew there was a Lloyd in there somewhere. Lloyd Wren already ran in the sport mods. And rounding out your top five is the number five K of Brian Reed. Brian Reed started on the outside front row. Lights out, going green this time by. Lap six. 
of eight, two to go. And it was a fun race, so like I said, hopefully we can get that our 52X machine back on the racetrack. It might not be in the perfect condition as it was before the contact into the wall, but hopefully just as fast if they can get it fixed up. Wayne Dotson brings the field back to the green. We go racing. Baker looking low. Dotson staying with that high side. Looks to be the fast ride around this track here tonight. At least for now. We'll see what happens as this track goes deeper into the night. Green, white, checkered. The white flag is out. Smoke coming out of the 72 machine. Or 72. 74 of Wayne Dotson. Wayne Dotson out of turn number four, checkered flag. And heat number two for the Hobby Stocks, Baker second, Lewis third, Lloyd in fourth, and Reed rounding out your top five of six, finishing this race. All right, so on the pole, heat number three for the Hobby Stocks will be the number 48 of Tom Manzella. To Tom's outside is the 91 of Marcus Wonkum. Inside row two has the number 47 of Gary Holder. To Gary's outside is the number 11 of Cody Johnson, another American Stock graduate. Rounding out the field, Mark McCaslin and David West. We go green. That was a perfect time to caution for the 27 of David West. Heat number two, restart. Heat number three, restart, I should say. We go green. So Manzella out to the early lead. And Kathleen trying to hold on to the second spot. And Cody Johnson giving Wonkum a shot in the rear bumper out of into turn number three. Wonkum taps the wall out of turn number four. Zella, your leader. McCaslin scraping the wall. Center of three and four. Now he's got some fight with Wonkum. We got four cars duking it out. But it's been a very common name and number up front in this heat race. The 48 of Tom Manzella. Now he's under pressure to the inside. Is that 11? Cody Johnson making the move out of turn number two. Cody Johnson into the lead. Back here, it's Wonkum and the 91, or the 15, I should say, of McCaslin. It's going to be interesting when we put all 25 of these hobby stocks on the track here tonight. There's not going to be a lot of room for errors. And what I see going into this main event night, you got a lot of racing room. A lot of lanes that these drivers can pick. The high side seems to be the one you want to pick for the passes. But we've seen some low side dive bombs. And out of the corner of my eye, off the screen, the 99 of Don Mead. We had all the issue in heat number one has loaded it up and pulling out of the pits. Now, we do have plenty of time between now and the main event, so I'm not going to count him out until I do not see him pulling on to the track for the main event, but Johnson is going to come across the line. Your heat three winner here in the Hobby Stocks at Bakersfield Speedway. Good run by 
by Cody Johnson. Started outside road two, finished on the top spot. And around is your leader and getting a big tag in the rear by Alderman. Alderman losing his nose. There, just a bit of corner of that bumper cover there. So that means Yurto now your leader. He inherits the lead in the number 8K machine. Carl Nolan in the 55 second spot. Started at the tail of the field, he's already up into the top three. Here they come around turns number three and four. And Nolan is closing into the back bumper of that 8K of your toe. And we're about drafting out of turn number two. Lord Wren creeping in on this battle, making a three car battle up front. Taking that low side. Nolan taking the middle. Three wide for the lead out of turn number two. Yurto slips back to third. Had absolutely no drive. Out of turn number two for that AK machine. So Lloyd Wren trying to get the most passing points if they actually provided them here from the back. And looking for the lead, lap number five. We've seen all night so far, passing up on the high side, but Lloyd Wren Jr. making the move down low and into the lead, lap number six. So that low side looks like it is coming in. Everybody beat up that high groove. Either they gotta make it happen more. Figure eight in front of the leaders. Alderman spinning out. Lloyd Wren not slowing down. Alderman punching the gas to get it out of the way as fast as he could. Have some experience at the speed drum in Indianapolis. Two turns, number three and four, checkered flag for Lloyd Rent Jr. Kyle Wood getting by Coots. Coots gonna fight back down low. I can't get the job done. And Wood's gonna celebrate by spinning out over in the corner. Bobby Stocks. Those are four competitive heat races with a lot of action. Main events, they're going to be exciting to see here tonight. Here we go, green flag. Heat one, the only heat. For the stock cars here tonight. Number 111 of Tyler Johnson, the 59. I should say the 159 of Chad Johnson. Kind of weird to see that after last year. It was almost uh, reversed. Brock Hamilton in the yellow 11 machine in the third spot. Streeter in fourth. That'll be the 1JX of Steven Streeter. The field of number 15 of Sean Schwarzenberger. Put some extra ponies in his 2018 season. From the mini stock to the stock cars. Tyler Johnson in the lead. Chad Johnson working on the high side of the 159 machine. Get around that 111 machine. Lap number five of a three to go. Around to Schwarzenberger in turn number three. He fires it up and keeps it low. Battle for the lead out of turn number four. Making it side by side. Chad Johnson in the 159 machine. Working that low side. Tyler Johnson slamming that door shut. Now the white flag wave. One more to go. Johnson. That is Chad Johnson. He's going to pick the high side and spit it out. As we stay green. So it was 
wasn't an easy win at first, but now he just strolls across the line. Tyler Johnson. Got one. Go checkered yellow, checkered yellow. Got one in the middle, too. Well, unfortunately, I guess that's part of the learning curve for Chad Johnson. No stranger to this class, but a definite stranger to that 159 machine. All year he's been racing in the car that just won without him in it, Tyler Johnson's number 111. So I guess the 159 doesn't do exactly everything that the 111 would do in certain situations. It's going to be a fun night of racing here. As I believe we're going to have the kids coming out for their main events coming up next. 